name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Weekday Mass on this Monday in the 14th week of Ordinary Time. So coming together as God's family in prayer, let us offer this Eucharist to the Lord, acknowledging our sins and asking for God's uh, courage. Lord Jesus, you reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. You came to heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with the holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Sent out for Haran. Sorry, Jacob left Beersheba and set out for Haran. When he had reached a certain place, he passed the night there, since the sun had set. Taking one of the stones to be found at that place, he made it his pillow and lay down where he was. He had a dream. A ladder was there, standing on the ground with its top reaching to heaven. And there were angels of God going up it and coming down. And the Lord was there, standing over him, saying, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. I will give to you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Your descendants shall be like the specks of dust on the ground. You shall spread to the west and, and the east, to the north and the south. And all the tribes of the earth shall bless themselves by you and your descendants. Be sure that I am with you. I will keep you safe wherever you go and bring you back to this land, for I will not desert you before I have done all that I have promised you. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Truly, the Lord is in this place, and I never knew it. He was afraid and said, how awe inspiring this place is. This is nothing less than a house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Rising early in the morning, Jacob took the stone he had used for his pillow and set it up as a monument, pouring oil over all the top of it. He named the place Bethel. But before that, the town was called Luz. Jacob made this vow, If God goes with me 
and keeps me safe on this journey I am making. If he gives me bread to eat and clothes to wear, and if I return home safely to my father, then the Lord shall be my God. This stone I have set up as a monument shall be a house of God. The word of the Lord. Responsorious Psalm. In you, my God, I place my trust. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides in the shade of the Almighty says to the Lord, My refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. It is He who will free you from the snare of the fowler, who seeks to destroy you he will conceal you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. In you, my God, I place my trust. His love he set on me, so I will rescue him. His love he set on me, I will rescue him, protect him, for he knows my name. When he calls, I shall answer, I am with you. I will save him in distress. In you, my God, I place my trust. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has done away with the dead and brought us life through his gospel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking, up came one of the officials who bowed low in front of him and said, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on God, and her life will be saved. Jesus rose. And with his disciples followed him. Then from behind came behind him came a woman who had suffered from a hemorrhage for twelve years, and she touched the fringe of his cloak, for she said to, said to herself, "If I can only touch his cloak, I shall be well again." Jesus turned around and saw her, and he said to her, Courage, my daughter, your faith has restored you to health. And from that moment, the woman was well again. When Jesus reached the official's house and saw the food place, with the crowd making a commotion, he said, Get out of here. The little girl is not dead. She is asleep. And they laughed at him. But when he, the people had been turned out, he went inside and took the little girl by the hand. And she stood up. And the news spread all around the countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, we have two stories of great faith in today's Gospel. The woman with the hemorrhage is cured when she touches Jesus. It is more 
the touch of the plate than the touch of her hands that resulted in her cure. Many people uh, touched Jesus physically, but only this woman is pure because she wanted to touch Jesus out of her faith and out of her curiosity. And again we see the great faith of faith uh, in, the, in the official Jairus. He is also a man of faith. He approached Jesus with expectant faith. And his faith is rewarded when Jesus raised his daughter to life. It is the faith that moves the heart of God. So friends, when things seem hopeless, let us remember the words of Jesus. Do not be afraid, just have faith. So with confidence and expectant faith, let us approach Jesus for his healing touch in our lives. The study Lord of all creation, for your goodness, we got this bread to offer, which the earth has given, and in human hands are made. It then become for us the bread of life. The study Lord of all creation, for your goodness, we got this wine to offer, fruit of the wine, and work of the human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the light of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with the great goodness, you form the tenure. And so, it is right that all your creatures are real, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of us, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Ho 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Mighty holy, therefore, this gives me prayer by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrothed and entered willingly his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, go to his disciples, sighing, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of fire. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Anthony our Bishop, all the clergy and the entire people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your eyes. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be Christ's to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, our God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the serious command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all this for us, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fight of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with the old will, will live our reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace, especially in this uh, uh, difficult uh, uh, time. 
Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks everyone.